Every high school student needs a fine arts credit to graduate. Fine arts includes band, theater, dance, orchestra, and of course, art. Art is a welcomed class compared to some high-stressed classes in high school. Would you recommend this class? Oh yeah, because you have fun and you get to experience things that you haven't before. Not everyone's an art person, but like it's a really easy class to take. It's really fun, it's relaxing, and you have a lot of freedom on like what you want to do for different projects. Some students recognize fine art when they see it. Who's your favorite artist and why? Pablo Picasso because he's the only one I know. My favorite artist is Vincent Van Gogh because I just like his work. Shepard Fairey because his pieces inspire pop culture, I feel like, and his pieces have like inspired his clothing brand, which is Obey. I like Frida Kahlo because she has a lot of realism in her art and in her various portraits that she's painted. Um, my favorite artist is Picasso, sir. Thank you. When it comes time for you to take a fine arts elective, you might consider taking an art class. It can be fun, creative, and you will earn a credit at the same time. Art is the place to be. For RACC TV, I'm Brinkley Harrison. Many returning students this year have noticed a slight change in our passing period. What was once seven minutes is now five minutes. After all, we have students moving from the indoor to F hall, so we have found out how students feel about the new adjustment. I personally don't like it as much because there's some classes that are pretty far apart and this uh, reduced time really uh, makes people struggle with uh, walking between classes. Uh, yeah, it makes it a little bit harder, but it's manageable. I haven't seen it be a problem yet in my classes. Um, I thought I would at the beginning of the year. I thought, wow, because upstairs F Hall is the furthest class from, you know, from the cafeteria, and I thought it would be a problem, but it hasn't. I mean, it's fine, but you have to speed walk the class now. I don't have time to get from the indoor to my upstairs classes, so I like to run the class every day. Has reduced passing period created any problems? No. There is a new policy attached to the reduced passing period time. According to Texas Education Code, all Kate classes have to be at least 45 minutes per day. So that would be 90 minutes for an A-B schedule. And so since we have Kate classes every single class period, then that means every single class period has to be 90 minutes. So we had to work that into also having flex time and that's what we came up with is that the only way we could do that was with five minute passing periods. So the decision came down to having flex time or a seven minute passing period. So for now on, we'll just have to cut down our conversations with our friends a little shorter and hurry to class. For RACC TV, I'm Caroline Ferrix. The Frisco High School Theater Group will be performing Edgar Allan Poe's The Fall of the House of Usher tonight and Saturday at 7 o'clock p.m. in the FHS Auditorium. Seating is limited, so please stop by the theater department to secure a ticket. Come scared, come all. We look forward to keeping you in suspense. It follows um, a guy who travels to the House of Usher, and he watches it kind of unfold as the house comes alive. Um, it's a very mysterious, um, dark, but intriguing play. Um, it's different than anything we've ever done before here at Frisco High School, but um, it's a unique experience, and so you'd want to come out and see it. <laughs> The Fall of the House of Usher is about a haunted house and the crazy guy that lives there. Roderick, who I play. Roderick is eccentric, creative, very musically and artistically talented, but he's also very sensitive. The experience has been really, really cool. Our director has allowed us to make decisions um, and create our blocking and what makes us like feel natural, and it's been really cool. Um, it's, it's been a really good like growing experience, so I've been appreciative um, and just, it's just been a great time. You should come see it. It's Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe is known to be very, very creepy, so if you're into creepy things, then you should definitely go see it, and if not, you should just go see it anyways.
if you drive a car to school, then you've probably noticed something different this year than from last year. Due to budget constraints, there's now a $50 parking fee for students who drive their car to school. What do you think about the new parking fees? It's really annoying that we have to pay now, but I mean, I can afford it. <laughs> Don't even get me started. I had to deal out $50 from my own wallet, but my parents paid me back because it's part of school. Yeah, I got charged $10 because I didn't have it, so. No, I got my sticker after the first week of school. I don't like it. I wish we didn't have it. Well, I actually think it keeps the students accountable. Uh, maybe it should be more, actually. Is $10 enough? There is a reason for the parking fee. Well, each year the district has to reevaluate its budget and how much money is there or isn't there. So the reason this year that, that we decided to add a parking fee was due to our budget. But honestly, it's a pretty smart way to get money for the school, so it's all right. Ms. Pell, who is in charge of the parking lot security, is also the person who monitors the parking stickers. I check every parking lot and I will give you a ticket if you don't have your parking sticker and that's $10 every time you get a ticket. After two warnings, you might get booted and then I'll have to, you'll, I'll have to take the boot off later on after you go in and tell us why you don't have your parking sticker. You know, I actually got a boot today and can't go anywhere now, so I don't even know how I'm supposed to get the money for the parking pass. Very disappointed. Not happy about it. Checking for parking tickets is not the only thing Ms. Pell is responsible for. Along with directing traffic in the mornings and afternoons, she is also there to make sure that the students are not in the parking lots when they are not supposed to be. I drive around the parking lot to see if any students are out in the parking lot without a per uh, permission slip. I just make sure everybody's in their right spot, everybody's in their classes. If you don't already have your parking sticker, you can purchase one online through My Payments Plus or from Ms. McDonald in the AP office. The form can be downloaded from the FHS website you will need to bring your driver's license, proof of insurance, and your license plate number. It is a simple process and the best way to avoid the $10 fines or getting the boot. For RACC TV, I'm Jeremy Gautam.